So this project was made for the Crazy Eights Film Society. They basically run a contest every year, and there were over 150 pitches, I think, our year, and then they narrow it down you know, to the top 40, the top 12, the top six, finally, and those six people get to make their film, and they basically get $1,000, eight days, a whole bunch of in-kind services uh, to make your film. My husband, James Dandifer, and I had decided we were going to submit something this year for that. And so he came up with this idea, Bedbugs, the musical. Bedbugs are kind of like, um, kind of like a boogeyman. Bedbugs are just so creepy because you don't see them. When I first thought of the story, I imagined this woman being isolated and haunted and driven to insanity, trying to get rid of, trying to find these bugs and get rid of them. And then, um, then I realized, you know, I, I don't really want to watch that. Then I thought, how could it be funny? And then it occurred to me, well, if it had music, then it could be funny. And it was a, a kind of tandem, because we'd be working in the same office. He would be like going over and over the songs, and I would be trying to you know, write the lyrics or write different parts of it and go back and forth. I had to understand that he should be in charge of the music, because that's his realm. And he had to let go of the story a little bit and let me take it in some different directions. So. Our director, Matt Kowalczak, was the one who suggested we use puppets. You know, I would write a scene and it was Tracy's on the, on the floor because everything has been cleared out. And so she's just sitting on the bare floor with a, you know, a blanket or something and the bed bugs are all there. And Maury's like, where, where are the puppeteers? <laughs> I was like, oh, right. If we're going to film this, we have four adults who have to somehow be hidden. So how are we going to redo that? And so that was a real challenge to just come up with staging and filming that was going to work to show the puppets and to hide these very um, game puppeteers who laid on top of one another in piles underneath things and just reached around in really uncomfortable positions to make it look magical. When you watch puppeteers work, it's magical. Like It's a whole new world of bringing these um, creatures to life. If you don't make your own work, you're kind of sitting around waiting for somebody to notice that that could be something that you'd be perfect for. I would never probably have been hired to play the lead in a musical. I don't really have a musical background. I mean, it was something I'd always kind of wanted to do, but being married to the composer, he could put everything in my range and make it so that it was something I could do. Shauna is a great singer. She's very humble about her abilities. She wasn't sure if she could do it. I knew she could do it. Shauna's a storyteller. She's fun to watch. When we did the last big scene, where we're kind of all singing and dancing down the street, I kind of thought, this is, this is my dream. <laughs> this is my secret dream. I'm being lifted in the air, singing and dancing. But there's also a part of me that I actually really love the message of the film. This is about a woman who learns you know, how to say no to other people in order to say yes to herself, and that that is, in fact, the way that she can say yes to other people, is by kind of owning something of her own. So I hope that that's something that people walk away with. <laughs>